Hey there everybody, this is Havoc. Today we're going to take a look at Corby Games' latest release, Railroad Corporation. This train simulation management game has been on my radar since it was announced, and the publisher Iceberg Interactive asked me if I wanted to provide some exclusive coverage on the game as it enters early access. I was more than happy to oblige, and this video is aimed to provide you with some tips to get your company off the ground in completing objectives. As always, let's dive in. With this being a railroad management game, it's obvious that laying down rails will be one of the biggest things you'll do the most. It won't be your biggest expense, but it is an early game expense, and any savings you can get for it will be extremely helpful. There are two primary methods to getting rail discounts, people and skills. Once you build an HR department, you have the chance to hire someone that provides that rail discount and should hire them first. On finishing a mission, the experience you've gained can be used to provide permanent buffs to aspects of your company. One of these being a rail discount, which I recommend you get as quickly as possible. It just seemed natural that if I'm going to talk about rail discounts, it makes sense to give you another way to save you some money on them. When dragging a rail line between stations, it will auto-generate a path for you to complete. What I've come to find is that this is just the simplest and less windy way, but also the more expensive. Paying attention to terrain and building your rail in smaller segments tends to generate a smoother, significantly cheaper line, saving you a lot of money. When you start each mission, it can be a bit overwhelming to figure out what resources you should start with. Taking a strategy from my time back in Sid Meier's Railroads, the quickest way to get off your feet is by starting with passengers and wheat. Passengers are free to load, essentially free real estate, and food is super cheap compared to how much you can sell it for. So take a look around you, see if you can easily access these resources, and get to setting up these tracks to start bringing in the dough. I'm being completely honest when I say that I had no idea how to repair my trains at first. First, you need to build a repair shop at your station, but then you need to set your train to that station for repairs. One great feature is the ability to set your trains to auto repair. Just double click on the wrench and whatever repair shop is available to it and hit apply. Once that train gets down to a certain percentage of wear and tear, it'll spend a short time in the shop, then be back on its way. Few things are worse than waiting a super long time for a train to fix itself in the middle of a track, so this is one of my most highly recommended tips to follow. Once you get far enough into the campaign or you're playing multiplayer, you'll have the opportunity to buy a resource building. While the initial cost up front is pretty high, you'll no longer have to purchase the resource, meaning it's pure gross profit for your routes. If this is a resource you'll be using constantly, this upfront cost will save you in so many ways and be well worth the price. Finally, in Railroad Corporation, you are allowed to go into debt up to $50,000 to help pay for your empire. While seeing that red number can be daunting and scary and maybe cause anxiety, it's also extremely necessary to complete your objectives on time. Do not hesitate to go into debt, but in the same step also be careful. Debt accrues interest on a daily basis, and the more money you owe, the higher that daily interest will dock you that money. Hit more than 50000 in debt, and it's game over. And there you have it, six simple ways to help you out in your campaign. Railroad Corporation releases today in early access, so if you're playing, best of luck. The game releases with just one chapter of six missions and a beta multiplayer. More features, missions, sandbox, and trains releasing as development continues. Thank you for watching this super quick tips video, I hope it helps. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you're looking to buy this game, follow my Games Planet affiliate link in the description. Buying the game through this link will help support the channel. Thanks again for stopping by. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.